I'm unhappy with my art studio. It's fine for drawing, but it's not the best for making videos. It's not the prettiest studio ever. So today I want to go through some of the problems I have and hopefully by the end of this video, I will have fixed all my problems and have a new studio. So let's first off look at some of the problems I have with my studio at the moment and then I can start thinking about how I'm going to fix them. So first off, I swear this is the loudest room in my house. I've got a loud fish tank. I've also got a ridiculously loud fridge and my PC constantly has loads of fans going, although I don't think there's a great deal I can do about that. Another thing that drives me crazy is how inflexible this space is. So if I want to go from recording myself drawing, so I'm recording from top down, and then I want to start talking to the camera, it takes a really long time to move all of the equipment around. I've got to move all of the lights around, reset up the camera with all new settings because it's a completely different lighting area. It just is a lot of faffing about. Another bugbear kind of related to that is how many tripods I have around. It feels like there's way too many and it makes cleaning in here a real issue. So I want to try and get everything up and off of the ground. I guess the last thing that I'm extremely unhappy with is generally how it looks. I think because the walls are kind of a uh, beige, it clashes with my skin in a weird way and I think it would look much better if it was a different shade. So as far as things I need to take into account, I have a radiator here that I'm not going to be able to move. I've also got a serving hatch that goes through to the kitchen, which is very 1980s, but we do use it every day, so I don't want to block that off. I also need to bear in mind that, so our dining room is here and our kitchen is here, and this room is the walkthrough between those two areas. So I can't block off the door. I need to make sure that the whole family can still get through here. Now I do think I know roughly what I want. I've spent a lot of time looking at Pinterest. I've also watched a number of other people's videos and I kind of think I have an idea in my mind, but I won't know if it's right until I draw it out. So for those of you who don't know, this is SketchUp. It's a 3D drawing piece of software. So I'm going to use this to draw out my new studio and check if what I'm doing seems about right. So I'm starting off here by drawing the things in the room that I can't change. So that radiator and my serving hatch. I get way too into doing this sort of thing. I genuinely love drawing things in SketchUp. It's a bit nerdy. So once I've drawn in the things I definitely can't change, I also want to draw in my bookshelf, just in a slightly different place. Now before I start drawing in the other things within the room, I'm gonna add some color. So first off, I'm going to turn the back wall a dark gray. It's different to what I would normally go for, but I think it'll look really smart. I'm also going to color in the floor and the bookcase because I do like being accurate. Now because of how narrow my room is and I need to leave that walkway to the dining room, I'm thinking I'm going to put some small shelves behind me. I don't want them to be really deep because as I say I haven't got that much space to play with but I don't want to just sit in front of a blank wall, I think that's going to look a bit boring. So I'm thinking of adding some shelves that are the same colour as the wall. Then I'm going to draw in a radiator cover and put the desk where I think I want that to go. Last thing I'm going to do is put in a chair and some accessories and yeah, I think I'm happy with this. I feel like I know what I want to do. All right, let's get started. So the first thing to do was move all of my things out of the room. Turns out I had a lot more things than I realized. It took a fair amount of time, not least breaking down all of my PC. That always takes a long time. But eventually I was left with a nice blank canvas and I could begin thinking about paint. I wasn't sure which grey I wanted to go for, so I picked up quite a few sample pots. I decided to be brave and go for the darkest. I figured I should go big. The white wall was a bit easier, it turns out I'm not that fussy about whites. So I just cracked on and started painting. Once that dried, I started painting my dark grey wall. Now, despite the fact that I tested these colors and used those tester pots, I was still a little bit worried at this point that it was so dark. I also don't completely think I knew what I got myself in for. I thought maybe it would be two or three coats I would need. Turns out it was five, I think, to get rid of all of the patchiness. It did slow me down somewhat. 
While I'm waiting for this wall to dry, I have a problem that I need to try and fix. Turns out the radiator that I want to buy a radiator cover for is massive and you can't actually get radiator covers this big. The only way to get one is to have one custom made. That would mean spending my entire budget, which doesn't seem like a good idea. So I need to find another way. It was my plan to build my own radiator cover and I drew out plans, worked out all of the measurements, but then luckily my husband had a look on Facebook Marketplace and found a very cheap second-hand one. It was exactly the right size, it did need some love, it was pretty scuffed and the side was kind of falling off, but nothing that couldn't be fixed. I could then shift my attention onto those long shelves that I planned out in my SketchUp. I just painted some of the thickest MDF I could find and set about measuring and drilling and putting them onto the wall. And at that point I had kind of the shell of my new studio. This is starting to look really good. I feel like the general framework is coming together now. At this point, I want to start focusing on fixing my desk. Now I say fix my desk, it's actually not broken. It's just got a few quirks that I think could be improved. First off, it is on wheels, which sounds like it wouldn't be a problem, but it is massively wobbly. Whenever I try and shade something, if I shade something a little bit too hard, it makes the whole camera wobble. And I feel like that is mostly due to the legs. So I'm gonna try putting some new legs on it. Also, the tabletop itself isn't the prettiest tabletop. And I think if I put a wrap on that, it'll look much better. Now, obviously I could have gone out and just bought a new desk, but I can't find one that's the same size as this. And I'm really not willing to go for a smaller desk. So let's see what we can do with this one. So first things first, we changed out the legs to some really nice sturdy ones. It was a really quick and easy job and very quickly made the desk look completely different. I then set about applying the white marble style vinyl that was similar to the kind of style I would planned in my SketchUp. It genuinely ended up looking like a completely different desk. I then wanted to start thinking about bringing all of my lights back into the room. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I want to try and avoid using all of the tripods. I want to get them up and off of the floor. And I found a really good YouTube video that I'll link below where you can put the lights on a monitor stand. And this is where the fun bit begins, the laying out the background and the accessorizing. So to start with, it looks way too dark. I need to really inject some color in. Now I spent quite a long time doing this and I didn't film all of it, but what a massive difference it makes putting in some plants and putting in various bright pictures and picture frames. That was a lot more work than I was expecting, but here we are a week later and I could not be happier with how it's turned out. I love everything about it, it looks so posh. So I haven't drawn anything for a week, I want to draw something in my new studio. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.